Hi guys, Sharon once again here with you, hoping that you are having a blessed day so far. Today our project is just a continuation of what I did over the Christmas holidays, um, using our any type of rules that we have handy. And I'm going to be doing a continuation of the table napkin ring holders that I did. Remember I did one um, using a uh, ornament from the Christmas tree. And also I did another one using beads. I'm just going to show you so you get a fair idea. I did this one. I did this. So today I'm going to be doing a heart shape one. My materials of course will be a roll. I'm using diamond wrap. I'm using a scissors. I'm using deco mesh red in keeping with the, um, the valentine tea. I'm using a glue gun and any type of other glues that you may have. So let's get started. So what I forgot to mention, also I'm going to be using suede red. This is my napkin ring holder. I find it key in handy to hold the fabric together. So we're going to be using that. So I already cut my toilet paper roll into the size that I want and I've already inserted piece on the inside. Remember I said if you want to insert, or I like a clean inside also as well as the outside so I fold it. This is the wrong side, this is the right side so the right side is going to be showing when you push it inside of the tube. And then I got it stopped. So this one is going to be going to the outside. I'm using my glue gun. Just to place it. And I'm going to go around. Gluing and pressing. And glue. Make sure everything lining up, of course. So it looks like this. Of course, clean out any glue that you have. So, next step is to cut the piece of deco mesh. I've already cut it. And I'm going to be placing the deco mesh around to give this a, a nice glamorous feel. So I'm just going to be placing it around. I cut it like an inch wider on either side. And I'm just going to glue that in place. Of course, I'm not going to use the glue gun because the glue gun leaves some um, you know some white marks here i'm going to be using any type of glue that dries clear so i'm going to glue that in place and then of course i'm going to tuck it in to the tube i will also glue the inside of that so it looks like this so i already went ahead and get one stuck and this is it. The other thing I'm going to be doing for this is cutting out some heart shapes. So I just freehand and cut out a piece of cardboard, a heart shape out of cardboard, and I cut a heart shape out of the fabric, and I'm just going to glue that onto the board. So I'll just put some glue around to secure the ends. I'm just going to place the fabric on top of it and make sure it's stuck. So it looks like this. Now you can take your scissors now and clean up the shape.
And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to find the seam and I'm going to stick the heart to the paper roll. So just put some glue on to our heart and I'm going to stick it onto pressing it firmly so that it is adhered nicely. So it looks like this. What I'm going to be doing next is using diamond wrap. I'm just going to cut one string from it. Just one, like that. I've already cut one. And I'm going to be sticking it around the heart shape. So I'm just going to put a dab of glue around. And go ahead and stick that in. Curving it around as we cool. So you see how it starts to form into the shape. So you continue to put your glue on. And you continue around gluing it in place. So when it's finished, it's going to look like this. So here we have a cool Valentine D napkin ring holder. So it's going to look like this when it's on, when it's finished. So I also did another one. This is more in keeping with Christmas again, but it can, I think it can be used, once you change the fabric, it could be used for any other thing. So what I used here was the bead from my handband and I cut a piece of diamond wrap like this and I just stuck it to the bead and that gives you such a nice look. And I've already ha I already have one prepared here. What I did is I just stuck it to the napkin in this direction. So here we have another cool idea that we can do. On this one though, I stuck two beads to it. You don't have to. You can leave it just like this. So this is two other cool ideas. So you can decorate your table scape for Valentine's Day. So I have another project and just let me get started setting up for it. So what I have here is a glass that I had and I had spray painted it for the Christmas season silver I did not spray paint the bottom so what I want to do to it now is just you know bling it up a bit just by adding a piece of fabric to it which is the deco mesh I'll be placing that around the bottom so let me show you how it's done so I cut out a piece of strip two and a half inches of the deco mesh and what I am going to be doing is running it around the bottom of the jar of the glass so 
what I do is just take some of the fabric and just crumple it up a bit. I'm going to add glue to the glass and I'm just going to stick the first part onto the glass like that. And I'm just going to continue crumpling up as I go around and sticking it in place. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue again. And notice I'm just taking my hands and crumpling it up and sticking it to the glass. So it forms this pretty flare around the glass. Run some glue again and continue to just crumple up and stick. It's like you're doing ruffles around a skirt or so on. So I've stuck the fabric around, it looks like this. And what's that? I'm going to be doing this. Of course, you clean out all the little glue that was done and just shape off all the edges that need forming into that circle. What I'm doing is I've cut a piece of diamond wrap and I'm going to be placing it around a piece like this. So, just going to glue that in place. Attach one side first and just pull it around. Run a bead of glue again. And I stick it to the bottom. So here you have your cool ruffle glass for any deco so you can place these anywhere um what i'm thinking i would like to do also is maybe run a piece of a string of the diamond wrap around the top of the glass i think it looks pretty nice so i'm gonna get that stuck in place so here I have the diamond wrap stuck in place and it's up to you if you want to leave it plain like this or if you want to add the diamond wrap to it. So these are some cool ideas for you to continue making your own.